today, I'd like to talk about squatting with club bells. Pay attention to the beginning of each set. What differences do you notice between them? If you missed it, don't worry. We'll take another look. In this version, I begin my squat just before the club bell lands smoothly in the pocket between my shoulder and neck. The next one is very similar, except I do a partial squat to catch before beginning a full squat. And finally, the club lands solidly in the pocket before any descent begins. If you're wondering what difference any of this makes, that's what we're here to talk about today. It seems that some would believe the first technique I showed is the right way to do it. And while it's aesthetically pleasing, it does have some drawbacks. Do me a favor. Pick up something small that you don't mind dropping. No. No. Perfect. Now, sit it in your palm and quickly move your hand toward the ground. If you move fast enough, your hand and the object would have separated from each other even though you didn't throw it upward. We'll revisit this idea in a moment. Our muscles are capable of different kinds of contractions. In a concentric contraction, muscle fiber shorten as tension develops, and in the squat, it's the upward lifting of the weight. In an eccentric contraction, the fibers lengthen under tension, and in the squat, it's where we resist the weight as it's lowered. Now, the way this relates to our floating object from earlier is that when you do the descent catch, you're moving away from the club as it's falling toward you. The faster you move, the less weight you have to deal with until you get to the concentric phase of the movement. Put another way, depending on how fast you descend, you can make the club feel almost weightless for half of the exercise. But if your body isn't being forced to deal with the stress of lowering the weight, it won't have access to the benefits of that stress either. If you'd like to focus on generating power coming out of the bottom of your squat, or have some other reason for focusing on the concentric portion, this approach could be helpful. But our bodies are naturally stronger during the eccentric phase of movement. And if we want our bodies to access a broader spectrum of benefits from the exercise, it makes sense to emphasize both the concentric and eccentric phases of the movement. We do this by ensuring we're fully loaded by the club before beginning our descent and not moving so fast underneath the club that it starts feeling lighter. It's a simple idea, really. It's not just what movement you do, but how you do that movement that also matters. Once you understand this, it's easier to match your performance of exercises to your goals and get there faster. Look, I know I said we'd be talking about squatting with club bells, but really, we could be talking about any exercise or life in general. The way you do it will impact what you get out of it. So don't get caught up in thinking that there's only one right way to do something. The right way is the way that best serves you and hopefully the world around you in that moment. So catch the squat on the way down or catch it up on top. Hell, do a mill in between squats if you want. Just do it because it's right and fun for you. If you've got questions about any of the moves in this video, post a comment below or on the Stillness Gems Facebook wall. Train hard, train safe, find yours.